Battery storage is like a Swiss army knife for the power grid, tackling a variety of challenges brought on by the shift to renewable energy. Picture this, in a solar or wind farm, they store energy to balance supply and demand. In a substation, they capture locally generated renewables, minimizing the need for new infrastructure. At a high powered EV charger, it helps shift the load away from peak hours. In a factory, they cut down on peak demand and facilitate energy trading. And in a hospital, it provides a reliable emergency battery backup power supply. With all these possibilities, it's no wonder that talk here at the Solar and Storage Trade Show is less about solar and more about batteries. I'm going inside for a new product launch by industry leader CATL. At a show like this, you can find batteries everywhere, but how do you compare them? One crucial factor to consider is energy density measured in watt hours per litre. Allow me to illustrate using this one litre bottle of water. The product will examine from CATL, which leverages advanced advanced lithium ion technology boasts an impressive energy density of 430 watt hours per litre. This means that if this bottle were a lithium battery, it would contain enough energy to power a laptop for approximately 10 hours. In contrast, older battery technologies like lead acid provide a mere 40 watt hours per litre. To achieve the same laptop runtime, you would need to carry around 10 litres. Thanks to its high energy density, lithium has emerged as the preferred battery technology for various applications, from electric vehicles to mobile phones. However, not all lithium-based storage solutions are created equal. Earlier this year, CATL unveiled the Tenor Base, an innovative 20-foot containerized battery storage solution that achieved a remarkable 6 megawatt hours of energy storage. That's around a third more storage in the same space as other leading battery providers. This capacity is sufficient to power approximately 700 homes in the UK for an entire day. CATL has recognised a significant challenge in the UK. While a 20-foot containerised solution is ideal for developing new infrastructure in accessible greenfield sites like solar farms, much of our existing power infrastructure presents real obstacles. Installing a large container in areas with limited ground space or difficult access can be problematic. To address this issue, CATL has introduced Tenor Flex, a modular storage solution that builds on the core technology of Tenor Base, featuring zero power degradation during the first five years of use. Tenor Flex comes in a smaller, more compact footprint, making it suitable for deployment in constrained spaces or areas with difficult access. Each 752 kilowatt hour module operates independently thanks to its integral power control system, allowing for direct integration with the site's power supply. This modular design facilitates the creation of larger storage arrays, while the independent operation of each module enhances reliability, enabling maintenance on one module without compromising the overall storage capability. Each module can be charged or discharged at up to 376 kilowatts, making it an ideal solution for integrating power storage, supporting grid services, and enhancing high-powered EV charging facilities. As we increasingly depend on renewable energy for power generation, deploying more storage within the power distribution network becomes essential. This enables locally generated renewables to be stored nearby, reducing the need for infrastructure upgrades. Integrating storage at the local level brings equipment closer to residential areas, making factors like noise increasingly significant. CATL has proactively tackled this concern, achieving a maximum noise emission of just 65 decibels at a distance of one meter, which is comparable to the sound level of a quiet office. While researching for this video, I discovered British Standard BS4142, a guideline that assesses how outdoor sound levels affect individuals both inside and outside residential properties. This standard is used during the planning process. The Tenor Flex's low noise level simplifies the noise assessment process. When deployed in the field, these units appear as typical white or grey boxes found in power infrastructure. However, at the exhibition, CATL unveiled a cutaway model that showcases its inner workings. Enclosed in a sturdy IP56 metal case, the design features racks of batteries arranged in series, housing multiple LFP cells. This arrangement is similar to that found in many residential systems. Additionally, it incorporates a sophisticated battery management system that carefully supervises the charging process and monitors cell level temperature. 
temperatures. The key difference at this power level is the incorporation of a liquid cooling system which helps maintain optimal charging conditions and allows the pack to function effectively across a wide range of ambient temperatures from minus 40 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, there are multiple layers of temperature and gas detection for enhanced safety monitoring. The show like this will always make some interesting discoveries. Now, this EV charger here can charge a vehicle at 480 kilowatts. So that's an enormous amount of power, and yet it's hooked up to a 40 kilowatt transformer. Remember, in electrical infrastructure, it's the cost of that supply to the charger that takes a lot of the money. The big difference between a 40 kilowatt supply and a 450 kilowatt supply. So how do you get around that? How does this work? Well, inside here is an enormous battery, so you can charge up from a lower rated power supply, but then provide really high powered charging to the vehicle. That's a clever solution to a growing problem. The key takeaway from this show is batteries are gonna play a crucial role as we move towards renewable energy. And there's one thing you can almost guarantee, regardless of the application, you're gonna need a bigger battery.